Hi everyone. Welcome to this new demo. Um, basically what I'm going to do with this demo is take you through how to sculpt a creature uh, step by step. Um, it seemed like a, a few of the students that I have um, are kind of just confused about like what resolution my mesh should be, things like that, like how do I start, how do I block things in, um, and just the step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to pick a creature um, and basically go through the entire process. Uh, these are going to be long videos, uh, so just you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to be covering a lot of information. So <clears throat> to start off with, let's go ahead and load up our reference image. There's a few ways to do this in ZBrush. Um, I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. Doesn't mean it's the best way, it's just the way that I'm comfortable with. So I'm going to import an image into, as a texture uh, right there. Then I'm going to go over to draw, front, back, let's do left, right, which I'm going to turn the floor on. And you're going to see these two little map icons kind of show up. So let's go over here. We'll say map one, and we're just going to pick our image. And you're going to see we have an image. Um, the reason why I do it this way uh, is because if you turn your floor on and off, your image is going to go away too, uh, which I really like that. Um, there's other ways where you can kind of put it uh, in the background with um, the, uh, what's it called? The spotlight. Uh, but this way, I'm just I'm just going to use this way. It's flexible. So now that we've got our image in here, I'm just going to use it from the side and just kind of guess off of this image. And this thing isn't going to look exactly like this. We're just we're going over uh, basics here. So uh, what I would do to start a character like this, I'd probably go up to Lightbox, and I would go to a Dynamesh Sphere, probably this one. It's a little bit lower. Just hit no. And of course, it's going to wipe out that draw. So let's get that back. And it's there. And that just turns your material to a madcap gray. And you can see we've got a Dynamesh sphere. Dynamesh is over here in your geometry palette. Um, and this is going to be the main uh, way we, we block in our model. Um, so I've got Dynamesh, and you can see that the resolution is 32, so it's really low, which is good. Um, a common mistake that a lot of students do is they go too high too quick. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video, is to show you not to do that. So let's go ahead and start blocking this guy in. And I'm, to do that, I'm just going to use the Move Brush. I've got a dock down here. Um, you can always get the Move Brush by B, M, V. I'm going to make a big draw size and I'm just going to kind of move, start moving this around. You know what? I might, I'm just going to move this into this thigh right here because it's a good place to start. Right there. And we're just going to start moving these points around. So you're going to notice as you move your points and your sphere around here that you're going to start getting stretching. So all you have to do is hold down control and click and drag in that open area and that's going to remesh our Dynamesh. So I'm just going to keep going down here. I'm going to try to move through this as fast as I can, but also giving you guys uh, the right amount of information. And I'm going to re-Dynamesh and then pull this down. this in there, re-dynamesh, then I'm just going to just push this out. And remember we're just getting the, the general shape here. You can see I'm just going to smooth this down and re-dynamesh and push this down into here, re-dynamesh and just smooth that a little bit. So up there's the back of our creature really really simple um, so now what I'm going to do is go into the body uh, another way you could do this is z-spheres um, I'm just gonna I'm just showing the Dynamesh way because that's what I want to show you guys so I'm just gonna start pulling this in and right now I'm thinking of this as just the body 
Um, I'm not really thinking about legs or anything just yet. So I'm going to kind of guess at where that, that lands. Let's move that back out. And then I'm just going to kind of pull it into the head. Like so. Probably push this back. Drink Dynamesh. Then push this in. And I'm just kind of forming a little area here. for the head and that looks good so I'm gonna make my draw size a little bit smaller and I'm gonna bump my resolution up just a bit let's try 80 and you can see now we've got a lot more res that might be too much let's go 60 64 And that's better. That should work. I just want to make sure we have enough resolution for the, the head here. So I'm just going to pull this down. Start blocking this in. Like so. And just remember, I'm uh, just blocking this in. I am going to block this in with the mouth open. Um, that'll be a little bit easier for us to place teeth and things like that. So just get this in there. And that's looking good. And again, remember, I'm just blocking out, so not adding detail. Push this up a little bit. And looks good to me. So now let's go ahead and start dealing with uh, the legs here. So just thinking about how I want to approach these. I think I might use a Z-sphere actually here. Um, instead of trying to pull these off, it'll just be easier that way. So let's do that. So I'm going to go over to our subtool palette. And I'm going to append in a Z-sphere. I'm going to grab it. And the way Z-spheres work, uh, let me turn transparency on here so we can see where it's at. And ghost. So Z-spheres are just, it's kind of a throwback to the old method of modeling and uh, in ZBrush. It still works really well. Um, I'm just using the normal move scale and rotate that we would typically use for our subtools and I'm just kind of pushing this into place where I think the leg might protrude from the side um, again we don't have a front view so I'm just going to guess on this stuff so now that I've got it moved I go to edit and draw and it's just going to move out another sphere and then I'm just going to use keyboard shortcuts here um, it's just a W key And I'm just going to keep, I'm going to just block in this leg. I block it in down to the ankle and then draw on another one. Just bring it down. And I'm going to check our front view here sure we're not breaking the leg go here and down to there and I'm just checking to see how it intersects here um, I think it should be where it should go looks like it's kind of comes up this part of the body does thin out um, and we'll, we'll mess with that ourselves later on and let me scale this bottom part up and I think we'll be done with the, the Z-sphere part. Let's move it up and in. That's good. So to get Z-spheres to be uh, geometry, we're going to go down to our adaptive scan, hit preview. That looks good. It's all fine. I'm going to turn the floor off just so you guys can see this and turn off our polyframes. This is the base mesh that it's going to give us. Um, I'm just going to hit this adapt, make adaptive skin 
and you're gonna be like well nothing really happened but it did um, it just turned it into geometry for us so now what are we gonna do with this geometry so I'm gonna turn this into DynaMesh but this is a common problem that happens with um, a lot of students so I'm gonna turn this DynaMesh off and I'm going to uh, add some subdivisions in here um, in just a second I make it polymesh 3d and I'm going to append that in here piece so I just didn't append in the uh, the geometry so I'm just gonna hide that and this should be actual geometry let's see yep now we've got to divide um, that's just an extra step so if your Z sphere doesn't convert, you just you're gonna have it out here, so you just append it back in. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna delete that if I can. There we go. So now we've got the leg and the body together, and I'm gonna turn this back off just so we can see our, the body here. And now let's try this again. I'm gonna subdivide this up higher I'm just gonna smooth this out first you can see our resolution is way too too high so let's just redynamesh this down to something is it like 80 redynamesh there we go you can see now when I smooth this it's gonna get rid of all those geometry lines that we don't want um, it's a common thing that happens I'm just going to smooth it out. You could probably do a clay polish or whatever, but for the sake of time, we're just going to do it this way. So I can tell we've got a little bit of an issue with the back of this leg. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and mirror this over while we're at it. So I'm going to hit duplicate and then mirror and weld. Um, when this when you get this kind of error don't worry about it just hit yes and we're good to go so the reason why I did that is I want to be able to work in a mirrored mode um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this old leg and now we've got two legs here and I want to keep them separate I don't want to dynamish them together just yet because uh, I want to keep working on this um, these little plumb lines that come up if you want to get rid of them you just go to draw and you go to your left right here and where is the plumb line front back oh, there it is P line right here so just get rid of that and you can use one map with both sides that's fine now you can see we don't have that really irritating line that comes up um, so I'm gonna turn on my transform just hit X and I'm gonna start dealing with this foot down here and just using the move brush, I'm going to move it around. And remember, it's DynaMesh, so we want to just keep doing it. And I'm just going to form a flat area for the foot itself. Um, we'll deal with the toes later on. Because we're still, we're still blocking things in. So we've got a knee, thigh, let's just double check here what we've got going on. I'm just going to widen this up so we have enough room. I think that should be good for our legs and body. Now I can tell on this side image that we've got here that, that I mean, obviously we have a thigh and then our lower area so let's just look at that I think we're gonna have to move let's hide this yeah Oop. so I'm just gonna move these apart and a lot of this is gonna not really matter in the end anyways but let's just take care of it 
This is going to get Dynamesh back into the body. Okay, let's move this back in. There we go. Turn the body back on. That's better. Now I've kind of got that. You can see we've got a little bit more of a gap where the body is and where the legs are. So speaking of the body, we've got this kind of dip down here that's happening. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Whoops, did the wrong subtool. go back to the body here now you can see we've got kind of like this sack that comes down I'm just going to pinch this in and let's just push it back up just going to kind of smooth this out and I'm going to switch to the pinch brush which is just PI or BPI rather, smooth, kind of pinch this in even more. Yeah, it's de it definitely gets really thin down here, so let's just move this. go that's looking good all right and we've got these kind of uh, auxiliary arms I guess is what you would call it um, and for those let's go ahead and use um, our snake hook because we haven't used that yet so we're gonna grab our snake hook brush and this is a new thing with, um, I think, 2018. Uh, we're going to turn on this Sculptress mode here with the Snake Hook. And just for demonstration purposes, just to show you what this does, if I pull out a Snake Hook and then smooth it, you can see we get decent geometry with it. Um, and there's all kinds of options with, with the Sculptress uh, mode. I'm not going to go into all of them. I just want you to know where this stuff is. Here's the Sculptress Pro um, to enable for a brush. And I want to say under stroke. Yeah, under stroke here is your sizes. Um, so if I want this to be a little bit, if I want more density out of these, I would mess around with this, with these settings. Feel free to do that. Um, we're not going to get into it too crazy on, on this, uh, on this demo. So let's just grab some area. I'm just going to mask off a little area where I think the leg should go, which is right there. So let me turn off that, turn off that so you can see it. And I'm just kind of doing this just to help eyeball that area. And then I'm just going to invert that. And then with the snake hook, going to pull this out and you can see that it's happening on both sides and let's turn our oop, turn our floor back on and we're just going to start pulling this and remember this is dynamesh too right so i just dynamesh that you can see we've got our even topology so dynamesh and sculptures pro do work together um, and they do an awesome job at it so let's just get this and I worked back up here. And redynamesh, get some more resolution. I'm just going to pull these down. And really, right now, I'm just looking at contact points so, elbows, wrists, and shoulder. All right, 
So that is kind of our basic block in. So now I'm going to start looking at this side view. Um, one second, I'm going to bring this up on my other monitor just so I can see it. Alrighty. So at this point, I'm going to start just guessing um, and looking off ref, looking at the reference off screen and just start sculpting. Um, so I'm turn this floor off. I'm going to look at the head here and I'm going to zoom in on my reference image. Alrighty. And move back to the move brush. And I'm going to start blocking in his head. So let's turn this on just real quick, just so I can get some placement of the eye. It's here. All right, so now I know that the eye is there. And what I'm going to do for this is actually, let's see here. This is where it's going to start getting tricky. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start, I'm just going to build up with my standard brush. I'm just going to build up, try to start building up an eyebrow like that. Looks like it's in the right spot. Then I'm going to go down and just block this in. And this, this probably is wrong, um, but I'm just trying to establish some structure here in the face. I know the, uh, the ears there. He's got kind of a fish quality to him. Just build that up a little bit more. And now I can, I can see like from this side image these guys are too close so I'm gonna start moving this stuff around so I'm gonna pull this out That's looking good. I think I'm going to need some more resolution, so I'm just going to go ahead into my uh, back to my DynaMesh. I'm just going to bump this up to like close to 100. There we go. Getting better. So I know that this nostril here kind of forms up into the eye, so I'm going to go through and just establish. Whoa, let's not do that. Let's go back to our standard brush. And I'm just going to kind of establish where that is. And I'm going to start bringing in these lips too. So you can see like he's got this kind of like crossover hinge on the back of his jaw and that's uh you, that's very fish like so I need to flatten this out and pull this over top like so I'm 
going to go ahead and just put it in the throat hole. Whoa. Don't want to do that. I'm going to turn off Sculptress. Just start getting that hole in there. The reason why I do that is so I can start figuring out like what the structure of the mouth is. Um, the mouth's a pretty difficult spot um, to deal with. So it's always good to have as much information as you can for that. These spots here are still kind of bugging me a little bit, so I need to have this kind of go out and in, so... You're probably just going to exaggerate this. Um, and then fix it later. Just push and move these down. that's working so let's deal with this nose a little bit more I'm just gonna try to establish a little bit of a nostril I know some of you out there are probably thinking, wow, he's still going really low res, and I can't stress it enough that you need to keep going low res until you just can't anymore. Um, super important. There's one thing students do that really screws them up. It's that. It's uh, going to too high res too quickly. So I'm just going to build up some more structure in here, start connecting this down. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Uh, this is the block in. Um, I'm, this series is going to continue. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and post another video probably uh, tomorrow or maybe this afternoon or this evening. Um, this is the, the start. So it's a good basic block in. Um, one thing we definitely should be doing here, and I didn't do it. Um, I'm going to save this, just call it Creature 1, and I'll see you in the next lesson.